Welcome back and we're continuing our coverage of Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett's historic visit uh, to Bahrain. Well, my next guest serves as a special advisor uh, to the King of Bahrain on interfaith matters. Uh, Rabbi Mark Schneier is with us. Uh, it's great to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. So uh, tell us then, how do you feel when you see the first Israeli Prime Minister in Bahrain? Well, it's a culmination for me personally of a 10-year journey. I was the first rabbi to meet with His Majesty, the King of Bahrain, uh, in his palace back in 2011. Uh, we've always met together on a uh, yearly annual basis since then. And His Majesty, even back 10 years ago, expressed to me his desire uh, of wanting to establish uh, relations with the state of Israel. So uh, Prime Minister Bennett spoke today about turning this from uh, a relationship between governments um, to a real relationship between people. Do you think that's achievable? I know it's achievable because in Bahrain, it is such a natural process. There's probably of the six Gulf states Bahrain is the beacon. Now, for hundreds of years of interreligious understanding, uh, cooperation, so it's a very natural process uh, for the King of Bahrain to go through, uh, particularly led by uh, His Majesty, the King of Bahrain. And we've spoken before, haven't we, um, about religious tolerance in Bahrain. Uh, not many people know about the Jewish community there. Can you tell us a bit about Jewish life in Bahrain? It's a small uh, Jewish community, uh, maybe about uh, 50 people. It's a historic community. It's the only indigenous Jewish community uh, in the Gulf. And uh, I think that with many uh, Jewish visitors coming from Israel, the United States, and other parts of the world, uh, that clearly will be a catalyst uh, for the future growth of that community. Right, because it, it must have been a very encouraging uh, for that uh, tiny community to, to see the, uh, the Israeli prime minister in their country today. Look, it's a remarkable feat. It's a remarkable achievement. You should know that on I-24 in 2018, I predicted uh, after I had led the first congregational mission, I led the Hampton Synagogue mission uh, to Bahrain. It was the first mission ever to the Gulf. I predicted that Bahrain would be one of the first to establish relations with Israel, and uh, here we are today celebrating the visit of Israeli Prime Minister Bennett in Manama uh, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Rabbi Mark Shania, uh, President of the Foundation uh, for Ethnic Understanding, thank you very much indeed. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Thank you, my dear. Thanks, we, we appreciate it.